So we did a phase three trial of low dose tamoxifen, which is an anti-estrogen, to prevent recurrence in women who had a non-invasive breast cancer, which can be either an atypical ductal hyperplasia or a lobular or ductal carcinoma in situ. These forms are very common today with the introduction of screening mammography. At least 20% of all breast neoplasms are intraepithelial neoplasia. We found a 50% reduction in the recurrence in the low-dose tamoxifen arm compared with placebo, which uh, is same effect that we can we found in the past with 20 milligram which is the standard dose we used however 5 milligram per day which is a lower dose which is uh, uh, associated with fewer side effects our side effects uh, with tamoxifen typically are endometrial cancer, deep vein thrombosis, menopausal symptoms such as hot flashes, vaginal dryness, pain during intercourse, and others. In this trial, we showed a lowering of these serious adverse events. We just noted one case of stage one endometrial cancer. We would predict nearly three with a full dose and we saw one case each of venous thromboembolism both in the tamoxifen arm and the placebo arm whereas we would have predict 2.5 with a full dose. Perhaps more importantly we saw uh, no difference in menopausal symptoms. There was in fact a slight borderline significant increase in the number of hot flashes per day which resulted in uh, one less than one extra hot flash per day compared with placebo no increase in the intensity of the hot flashes and perhaps more importantly no increase in pain during intercourse or vaginal dryness Finally, we noted no increase in arthralgias or musculoskeletal pain, which are frequently associated with aromatase inhibitors treatment. Uh, we saw a very intriguing 75% reduction of contralateral breast cancer, which of course opens the doors for a primary prevention trial in healthy at-risk women. Uh, with uh, because you know the side effects of tamoxifen have prevented its broad use in prevention despite a strong evidence of efficacy but the side effects preclude its use so we, th we think we hope that with the lower dose uh, more women will take uh, this drug for primary prevention especially those who are at higher risk including perhaps the women with uh, BRCA mutation that the study was uh, uh, supported by the government, the Italian government, and two charities, the Italian Association for Cancer Research and the Italian League Against Cancer. We are indebted to these uh, associations, institutions, for supporting a study aimed at uh, maintaining a fair, uh, uh, equitable and affordable medicine.